right, guys. So here's the uh, AutoVent 4000. It's uh, completely pneumatically driven, so you're going to need compressed gas to run to operate. Here's the compressed air. You can set each settings independently from each other. Set the inspiratory time, the breaths per minute, as well as the tidal volume. And here's your gauge as well. It has uh, airway pressure relief, and it's going to be set at 60 centimeters of water. This way there's no damage to the patient's lung. So anything above the 60 centimeters of water, the gas is going to leak throughout the vent. So it's going to come through the anti-suffocation valves. So you don't have to worry about uh, bursting the lung. Here's a manual breath as well. has a manual breath option and a low gas supply. So when you get to about 35 to 39 PSI, it's going to alarm. And it's also going to turn red, letting you know you, have, uh, you need to switch tanks out. It can, as you continue to use it and you get lower and lower, it's gonna, the alarm's not going to be able to stop. It's just going to be a constant, annoying squeak just to let you know, hey, you got you know, this is urgent. Switch the tank out. Um, you have two seconds for adult, one second for child. Uh, minimum is 44 pounds for a child. As you can see, it's color, code, color coordinated. So you have uh, white, two seconds for adult, white uh, letters for breast per minute, orange for child, orange for tidal volume, and then white for adult. So it's very easy, very simple to use. Water resistant as well. Don't submerge it in water or, you know, of course, it'll have issues. Uh, so what you do is go ahead and hook up the oxygen hose first to the ventilator. Then you're going to hook it up to the air source. Screw it in like this. Then you're going to go ahead and set your inspiratory time, either one second for child or two seconds for adult. We'll set it for two seconds for adult. Um, average from eight to 12 breaths per minute. We'll go ahead and set it to uh, 10 breaths per minute, the white letter 10 breaths per minute. Again, white, two seconds for adult. Go ahead and set the tidal volume. Um, we'll go ahead and put 800 milliliters of tidal volume. And then what you're gonna do is hook up the circuit. And then you're gonna go ahead and occlude the circuit. And that's gonna let you that's gonna let you know where your airway pressure relief's at. Go ahead and that's a bit different from what I was used to. Go ahead and occlude it and that'll let you know where your air pressure is at on the gauge. So you can adjust your airway pressure before you hook it up to the patient. Go ahead and occlude it, and you'll see where the gauge is at. Right now it's a little over 40, so if you want to increase it, you can. So this is going to alarm when it's about 55 centimeters of water of airway pressure. Um, again, it's cut off at 60 centimeters of water. And then you go ahead and hook it up to the patient. Here's our lung. This is going to pretend this is the patient. And that's it. And you're good to go. Then you would watch the patient's chest. Make sure that the, you know, your guys' expertise, see the chest rising and falling. Making sure there's no airway blockage as well or a stiff lung. Um, but that's it. And again, manual breath. Pretty simple. Very easy to use, very easy to operate. Um, that's all I got for you guys. Wish it was more difficult, but I mean, it's not. Pretty simple. Yeah, you could do that. That's your high airway pressure relief. That's going to let you know, you know, there's an issue somewhere along the line. So, so go ahead and look in it. And then we can go ahead and do the... Um, Guys would be 800. Yeah, close. For the tidal volume. Wait, I'm sorry. What was that? For a, uh, just a, a rule of thumb. Uh, so that was it right there. That was the low gas source. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. To preset our tidal volume. Are you guys recommending that we start around 800? No, we wouldn't recommend anything. You guys are going to get that from someone gotcha. above. Yeah. It's going to be probably um, 600. Okay. As well, because we only take in 500. Yeah. There are AHA guidelines. Um, we have it in our manual, 2005 yeah. AHA guidelines, between 8 to 12 breaths per minute, and it gives the tidal volume in there. But, you know, all I can do is tell you about the vent and how to operate it, but yes. I can't recommend anything like that. Uh, but, if, you know, you guys feel free to mess with it and so I can answer any questions that you guys have. Go ahead. and I mean, it's very, it's very simple, straightforward. Emergency situation, I mean... You know, anyone that's not a paramedic or without training, if they know the guidelines, I mean, they can easily 
set that so up. Okay, so this has um, also assist control mode. So what it can do is it's gonna sense when a patient's trying to take a breath. So if you have it set at 12 breaths per minute, the patient wants to take a breath between the 11th and 12th breath, it will actually support the patient's breath and give the uh, set inspiratory time you have set as well as the tidal volume. And it has anti-stacking technology, so it will reset itself after that. So again, it'll sense a spontaneous breath, support it with the inspiratory time you have set as well as the tidal volume, and then it'll restack itself after that.